I'm here at the Houston Quilt Show at this beautiful Hungarian blue and white quilt exhibit and Anna Maria is the one who organized and brought the show here. And Anna Maria, can you tell us a little bit about these quilts? Oh, we tried to make something very special, Hungarian fabric, using fabric, Hungarian fabric and Hungarian motifs as well. Mm. And therefore, they are the best of from Hungary. We are 800 in the guild. 800? 800 in wow. the guild, yeah. Incredible. Mm -hmm. It is very, very new in Hungary. We don't have any tradition with mm. quilting mm -hmm. because our culture in embroidery is very, very rich. Yes. And the patch was everything very bad to have a patch mm. on the cloth. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it was no possible to make something with patch, only embroideries. Mm. And 20 years ago, we began to learn quilting. And now it's very, very popular in Hungary. And many, many women make wonderful quilts. As yes. you see here. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have a tradition of beautiful fabric, and you have a tradition of yeah, sewing yes. and needlework. Yes, and uh, embroidery as well. And, yes. you, and the motifs, for for example, on this one and this one are Hungarian folk art motifs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's what makes it very special for us. Yes, even. <laughs> it looks. It's very different from everything else yes, here, and that's we why we we tried so. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you for letting us have a look uh, at your it was exhibit. A, a very, very pleasure to me. Thank you. <laughs> you know, as I travel around to various quilt shows around the world, one thing that's consistent, and, and that is that blue and white quilts are always a crowd pleaser. Now, this piece has a real Hungarian theme, and if you get close, you can take a look that she has integrated the actual color of the crockery by using a natural beige linen. If you follow my travels, you may know that recently, in the last year or two, I've been to Prague and Budapest. And then just a few weeks ago, I got back from Russia, from Moscow and St. Petersburg. And so it's very interesting to see the similarities and the differences. This one really caught my eye because when I was at the Moscow quilt exhibit, there were several quilts that had images of girls with long braids. And when you're walking down the street there, you'll notice in front of you there's a girl who's got her hair braided all the way down to past her hips, just like this. It's great. When we think about Celtic, we think of Ireland, right? But this was actually inspired by a Celtic artifact that was found in Hungary. Again, the beautiful applique and the detail and the stark blue and white really captures your eye. Yesterday I visited the new quilt museum, the Texas Quilt Museum in LaGrange, Texas. And one of the things that we saw there was several vintage snowflake paper cut style applique quilts. Well, when you look at this, you may think that it's an applique, but it's actually pieced, paper pieced. We're going to finish our tour of the Hungarian quilt exhibit with this beautiful piece that is very traditional Transylvanian. You don't see ravens or vampires here, but beautiful traditional bird and flower motifs. And I really love that printed blue and white fabric on the white background. And there's some little three-dimensional details here if you look close to. So our thanks again to Anna Maria and all of the Hungarian quilters, and we hope to see more of their work here again in the future.